Hey gang, welcome once again to Living Off the Slab. I'm Craig Ripley, and today what we're gonna talk about is a trip that I have planned to head out to Southeast Ohio and ride the Windy Nine. For those of you who don't know what the Windy Nine are, they are a series of motorcycle rides that are based out of Athens, Ohio, which is the home of Ohio University. So Athens is a good place to go to base yourself out of because there are a lot of restaurants, there are a lot of hotels, there's a lot of culture there in the Athens area that surrounds the university. And these nine routes are known for being just absolute beautiful roads, twisty roads that wind through the beautiful countryside of Southeast Ohio. So after watching this video and you wanna plan your own trip out to ride the Windy Nine, I suggest you start with the official website and that is www.windy9.com. And there you can order yourself the official map, you can download GPX files, as well as check out some of the local hotels and get any of the latest discounts that they have for we motorcycle riders. Now, the reason that I am planning this trip is because, well, I have a little bit of unfinished business with this area of the country. You see, back last year when we were planning the Mother Road Tour, we had originally planned to end the ride by going through Ohio and riding one of the Windy Nine, that is the Triple Nickel, before heading home back up here to New England. And unfortunately, all of you know that Kevin had a little emergency at home, so he had to leave early. And that ultimately allowed me to make the decision to cut off about 10 days of my trip as well. So I still want to get back out there and ride these roads. So that's why this year I decided, well, I need to get out there and do it. Now for me, if I jumped on the highway and I rode straight to Athens, Ohio, it's about 740 miles from here near Boston, Massachusetts. But what fun is that? I don't wanna ride the highway. I'm retired now, I have all the time in the world. So what I wanna do is take the back roads to get there. So to plan this back roads ride from Boston over to Athens, Ohio, I opened up my subscription to Rever. And I did that and I maintain a subscription to Rever primarily because it includes the Butler Maps system. And that is Butler Maps has gone through and color coded just about every great motorcycle route in this country. They have a team of people that goes out and rides all these rides, all these great roads, and then they color code them based upon you know, the grade that they give them. And so this is always a great and useful tool for me to go out and said figure out the back roads that I want to ride. Now I don't want to get into the specifics of how to use Rever in this video. It's really simple to use. All I did was select a start and end location and then drug my route around until it went on as much of these great roads as I possibly could add in. Now, once I had the basic route created in Rever, I exported it to a track so that I could bring it into my next tool, which is MRA Route Planner. And Route Planner is my main tool of choice for creating routes. It just is a more robust system than things like Rever. So I choose to do my final version of my routes in MRA Route Planner. Now, after I create that tract in Rever, I'm gonna import it into MRA Route Planner, and then I'm gonna convert it to a route. That route is then gonna be used by my GPS device to give me the guided navigation while I'm traveling on these roads. So now, after I've brought this route into MRA Route Planner, we can see that it is now 1,053 miles approximately in length. So I'm not gonna ride that in a single day. In fact, what I wanna do is I wanna ride that probably over the course of three days, doing about 350 miles or so each day. That's a comfortable distance for me. It allows me to stop and see things if I wish, to enjoy my time, and also get into my hotel at a reasonable time so I can grab myself a shower and have a good meal before going to bed. 
So one of the great tools that's available to me in MRA Route Planner is called the Split Tool. And it allows me to take a long route like we have created when we were over there in River, and now I can break it up into smaller pieces. So after I've selected my location where I want to split this route, I'm going to give the two versions of the route that are going to be created appropriate names, right, and then I'm going to save it. What I end up with is now the original route, which was the entire thing. I end up with my short segment that goes to Hancock, New York, and then I end up with a third file that is from Hancock all the way to Athens. I will use that third file to then again split the route up. This time I've decided I'm going to stay in Dubois, Pennsylvania, which again is about another 350 miles. So that's where I'm going to do the split again. Right, and I'll end up making three files that will get me all the way from Boston, Massachusetts out to Athens, Ohio. Now, if you followed this channel before, you know that earlier this year, I rode from Boston down to Virginia, and our first night of the trip, we stayed at Hancock just like I am going to on this trip. I stayed at the Hancock House Hotel because I like the place. It's got this rustic charm. They've got a really nice restaurant there on premises, which makes it a really easy stop don't have to worry about where you go out for dinner or the night. Also, the staff is really friendly and accommodating, so I like to give them my business. On the second night of the trip, when I'm in Dubois, Pennsylvania, I'm staying at a Best Western, well, because I've got some points built up and I can use them to get myself a discount on the room. Then on the third night, when I get to Athens, Ohio, I've decided to do something I've never done before, and that is use an Airbnb. I've thought about it in the past, but I've just never pulled the trigger. But I thought this time, let's see if there's anything in the Athens area. And I found this great little apartment that is under the host's home that is going to allow me to have my own bed and my own area. And it's really close to a lot of the rides that I'm going to be doing over the next three days. Now, once I get there, I hope that I can tell you more about this Airbnb as well as give you a review, but I don't want to do any of that in the form of a video before I get permission from the host. Now, once I'm in Ohio, what I want to do is ride as many of these great roads as I can. So here's a list of them that are included on the Windy 9 website. There's the Rim of the World, the Southern Dip, the Hawking Hills Nipper, the Lazy Rivers Ride, the Zaliski Zipper, Pioneer Pass, the Pomeroy Dash, the Black Diamond Run, and the Triple Nickel. Now, I'm only going to be out there for three days, so I'm not going to be able to fit in all nine routes again while I'm there. But what I'm going to do is combine a couple of routes on a couple of other days. So this is what I have in mind for my trip. The first day I'm going to ride the triple nickel loop. I have a route that takes in some of the lazy rivers ride as well as takes in the triple nickel. And then we're going to do the rim of the world and the pioneer pass loop. And then on the last day I'm planning on doing the southern dip and more of the lazy rivers loop. And then after I've enjoyed myself riding on these great roads for about three days, well, then I've got to head home. So what I'm going to do is basically just retrace the route that I took getting out there. That is, unless I find some of it is particularly not good, and then I'll make changes on the fly. But for right now, I'm just planning on going back to the same hotels and the same places that I've always been, just because it's the easiest thing to do to get home and it keeps me off of the highway. So there you have it. That's gonna be my nine day solo trip from Boston, Massachusetts to Athens, Ohio. And of course, back again. All in all, it should take me about 3,000 miles to do this entire trip. And that'll put me right at the 10,000 mile mark or a little bit over. 
to get this thing worked on. That is my Triumph Tiger 1200 GT Explorer. It's gonna be going in for its 10,000 mile service, well, about the second week in July. And I, of course, am gonna let you know how the bike does and what that service costs and all of that kind of stuff because I know everybody's gonna have questions. All right, guys, so that's it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments about planning this ride. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Talk to you next time. Ride safe.